Write the equation of the ellipse shown in this graph. To write the equation of an ellipse, you first need to identify some of the properties that every ellipse has. First, the center. The center of this ellipse, horizontally, from left to right, the center has an x-coordinate of 4. And vertically, up and down, the center of this ellipse has a y-coordinate of negative 2. The center would be located at 4, negative 2. The next property you want to identify is the horizontal distance from the center of the ellipse to the left. How many units does it take to get from the center of the ellipse to the edge of the ellipse directly to the right or directly to the left? That will be the same value if you've identified the center correctly. And in this case, that's three units. It is three units from the center to the left or the center to the right. And the third and final property you'll need to write the equation of the ellipse is the vertical distance from the center to the top and to the bottom of the ellipse. In this case, the distance from the center to the top is one unit, as is the case from the center to the edge of the ellipse straight down, one unit. And we're going to use those values in the standard form of the equation of an ellipse shown here x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. The values that we've identified, the center is hk. The horizontal distance from the center to the edge of the ellipse left and right, that's the value of a in this equation. And the vertical distance from the center to the top and bottom, that's the value of b. And if we know these pieces, if we know these properties of the ellipse and this equation, writing the equation for the ellipse pictured here is fairly straightforward. So our value of h is 4. So x minus h squared in the numerator of the first term is x minus 4 squared. And in that denominator, the value of a, the distance from the center, left and right, is 3. Now in the equation, that 3 is squared. So I'll, I'll evaluate 3 squared in the next step, but you're not going to put just a 3 there. 3 squared is the value that goes in that denominator. The value of k. The value of k in the equation is negative 2. The y-coordinate of the center is k. It's negative 2. The standard form for the equation of the ellipse says y minus k. So if k is negative, that's y minus negative 2 to the second power over b squared. The value of b, the vertical distance from the center to the top or bottom of the ellipse, is 1. So that denominator will be 1 squared. We can do some simplifying here. We can simplify y minus negative 2 and rewrite that as y plus 2. 3 squared is 9 and 1 squared is 1. So to state this equation in simplest form, I'll write x minus 4 squared over 9, the result of 3 squared, plus, instead of y minus negative 2, I wrote y plus 2 squared. And since 1 squared is just 1, this denominator is 1, you, you don't need to write a fraction for that second term at all in this case. So the second term will just be y plus 2 squared equals 1. The equation of every ellipse in standard form is equal to 1. The equation of the ellipse pictured on the left side of the screen is x minus 4 squared over 9 plus y plus 2 squared equals 1.